Today we are filming uh, the music video for 40 Forever. We flew fans from all over the country uh, to join us here where the universe was created. The, the logic lore was created. Um, I haven't been on this set in nine years, which is really crazy. And uh, it's really special, actually. It's extremely beautiful. <laughs> This is like surreal. This is our first time directing together. We've been talking about it for a minute, a long time. Perfect kind of circumstance to direct together, I think. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, both of us were fans before we started working with Bob, and we have fans here. They're gonna be in the video, so it's kind of a, just a huge fan music video. Yeah. So. I'm here, I'm chilling. Uh, I spent uh, 24 hours in an airport. I didn't sleep in 36 hours. It's but, crazy um, to be here, like all the people, the synergy, just like really good, like uh, really good energy. I'm so excited. I'm so, I, I have no clue what's happening. They didn't tell us anything. I found out that I was coming here about two days ago. It definitely just caught me so off guard that I couldn't believe it. It still feels like a dream. JT texted me in the middle of class and asked me what I like to be a part of like an upcoming project. And we have 48 hours to make it happen. Had to hit up all seven of my teachers <laughs> and let them know that I was going out to LA for a really cool experience. Yeah, I literally got home from work. Check my phone like, wait, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Yeah, I'll definitely be here immediately. As soon as I could possibly can. And I was actually already in the car on the way to the airport when I got the text on the way to California for a vacation. I got the invite and I was super excited. It was meant to be for real. I got a text from JT two days ago to come here and now I'm here. Three days ago, I was contacted to be a part of Logic's new music video. Two days ago, Justin texted me and said, hey, like, you want to be in this music video? Or are you free to come to LA? And I'm like, yeah, I'm free. Yo. This is crazy. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh my me. gosh, these are insane. <laughs> this probably looks too big. I wanted right? the pink too. There we go. It's really special having the fans be a part of this because without them, none of this matters. You know what I mean? It's like, I've created this universe and these planets and these characters and without them, there's nobody there to listen to it. And it's funny that all these years later, now they're not just listening to it, they're actually a part of it. So it's really special. Okay, cool. Well, this will be fun. I don't know what I, I just do this in videos all the time. <laughs> we're all, so we're doing do, the same. Trip. Okay, so great. Okay, it'll yeah. be good. Uh, I'm just checking on the cast right now. I uh, heard they're all suited up. It's gonna be fun. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I'm going. What are you guys doing? <laughs> That was probably really stupid. But. <laughs> How do the spacesuits feel? Yeah. They cool? You guys look yeah, fucking fine. Like <laughs> uh, gang 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 Do I talk to you or to... See? I don't know what to do. Getting uh, opening moments of the music video, uh, crew suiting up, just the details of uh, everyone zipping, the patches on the Aquarius jumpsuits, setting this tone for the trip that's about to happen. Stepping in the flight suit, I mean, it's so iconic. <laughs> so I'm just, yeah, it feels very surreal and I feel like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and not even realize that this actually happened. <laughs> Being in the jumpsuit, I felt like we really got into character today. You really feel like you were a part of everything and uh, I'm just really grateful for the whole crew. See for myself, that's a large, I think I'm a little too small for that. Yeah. I think a medium's good okay, for me. Cool, yeah. I'll take that one, I'll see what for you. Cool. Make it the large one. You wanna do the large? Yeah. Cool, let's do that one. I'll see that for you. I've actually made a video decoding all the patches on here back in the day when it dropped. You know, we got the Paradise on here, and of course, this all ties into Ultra 85, the Elite, the original Aquarius 1 crew, Thalia here, of course, the Altarian language, language of the Ultra 85. We, the Ultra 85 against everybody, going into the Thalia Trader theory, which I believe is somewhere on here. But yeah, these patches, it's, these have been out for a while, and finally they make sense. It feels like an honor, honestly. It's nostalgic. The fact that we're in the original set right now, but with these jumpsuits, it just 
really is a testament to how far not only Bob has come, but just logic in general and just the community. And it really is just impactful. And we're super excited to see where the video is going to take us. Let's go. This is crazy. Oh, I know. You guys look so good. The pink is a choice. Yes. So to be on a set of where the incredible true story took place originally is literally a dream come true. This place is my childhood, essentially. Uh, it's, it's a lot of emotions, a lot of happiness, a lot of, a lot of excitement, a lot of craziness going on, especially getting here, being on the set of the incredible true story, the whole intro sequence, the trailer of it, and now being here nine years later since the, the trailer came out back in 2015 is definitely a full circle moment. It's a place where you walk in, you know exactly where you are. No one even needed to tell us the energy that we needed to bring. We already knew like what time it was when we got the got the calls. Imagine you're fucking angry at this game. You know, just like, you, this is, you know, literally dream come true for y'all. And I think just that like, you, you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm here. You know, imagine Bob just brought you on stage and you're in front of 15,000 people and you're just fucking rocking out in front of them right now. You know, like you're feeling it. Um, some of y'all have been on stage, so <laughs> hardest half. <laughs> Evenly, let's go for like a semi-circle. You're right. Within this space. Right. Okay. Uh, cool. I mean, I can let's operate like this. Yeah. Let's try for a more condensed look. I don't know how, how you feel about that. Yeah. Like yeah. more. Yeah. 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 So but you don't gotta be like super squat like uh, but, you, know, you guys are fucking. Cameron's gonna be here. He's gonna be whipping around, right? I want y'all fucking like, just almost like. Oh, yeah, mosh pit type shit, like, you know? You don't gotta be like, oh, you know, but it's more like vibe with each other, like yeah. leaning on each other, really ride the wave, you know? Hey, 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 when I first pulled up and I walked in here and I saw the set, I immediately recognized it from the tits preview video. So I initially felt like really connected to it. <laughs> right now we are recreating the incredible two story shot for this music video. It's a big moment so I'm super excited. So sick. Oh my god, that's iconic. Very important, and whatever you do, you give it a hundred thousand percent. So I'll be clowning and I'll be making fun of shit and yeah, having fun and all that. But when it's time to get to work, get to work. To work. So and you guys are doing it. Thank you. We also just recreated the cover to the Incredible True Story, and that right there is something that will live on forever. That's all I can say. Speed. Camera speed. All right. Doors. Cue door. I think just walk off camera. Oh, walk off camera. Okay, good. JT, man, you can be on the questions, man. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll pull the walk off from there. What? What was the walk off? Like, yeah, you said walk, keep walking, just walk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got you. One more minute. My bad. That's my weekend. Okay.
Oh, it's happening, dude! It's getting real. It feels very authentic to like Logic, but also what the fans want and what they expect out of it. Uh, so yeah, it's like paying a lot of homage, but also I think pushing this story forward and keeping it fresh as Logic does with his music too. So yeah, I'm like fucking like this is once this MPC hits it. Oh, it's gonna look. Oh. Is this stable yeah, though? The other way. Yeah, right. Is this stable? No, not very stable. Like we need a. This, this NPC can't drop. This is vintage cheese. Yeah. Oh shit. So we're paying reference, uh, we're referencing the uh, original incredible true story announcement trailer. Yeah. Yep. Talk about it. Uh, same exact set, same moments, and then I think once that hits in the video, it'll be like holy shit moment for people to know. Also, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh. Oh, that's hard. It's that pretty stable. Good. This one definitely is more stable. We can strap it down. Whatever somewhere. you guys want. This, I like the look of this more. Um, <laughs> even if we like just got some... Some gaff tape and like wrapped it around the top here so they yeah. stay together. As a kid, I remember like riding the bus in middle school and like on a rainy day and just listening to Incredible True Story and like literally pretending that I'm on the Aquarius 3. And now I'm here. Everyone's gonna be filling in over here before the drop and basically we're just gonna get the first shot of you coming down pressing the mp25 right in the drop or something before before day one day one day one should i hit each kick boom 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 that could be cool one two three, i like four. that okay so do you want me to use my right hand i think whatever would be natural if you were standing directly on the mpc yeah i would use this okay okay so i'll do that what's that what would you how would you act if you walked in <laughs> Taking the space, like really, like you're, you guys are coming into this spaceship for the first time, so like you guys are seeing all this shit. Cool. You guys look awesome. <laughs> JT and playback. A lot of people got into Logic around that album just in the hip hop space and that trailer of him with the MPC hitting it, hearing I am the greatest in the background, it's iconic. I am the greatest. We're about to do a crazy shot with all the crew going back and forth in the hallway. Um, insane, I feel like we should win awards for this shot. My opinion, this one shot alone, we could make this music video just this one shot. Is that good? I think it should be wait like a beat. So it'll be Q, Q, Q. So there's a little bit of space between you guys. Yeah. So it's gonna be like super zoomed in. Um, and the, the computer back and test. Yeah, that works. I love it. Fire. Just wait till you see the whole motion. <laughs> I feel like this is more like kind of immortalizing what it means to be Rat Pack. Like, you know, this fucking music video now. Like, this is part of the logic lore. So, <laughs> you guys are part of that now, for real. It's really cool. Um, so, it means a lot that you guys are here. Yeah. The whole like Rat Pack community is so solid and it's been around for like a decade. Everyone here is family already before we even met each other in real life. We all knew each other and so when we all got together it just felt like an instant family reunion. Like it was like long lost cousins and brothers and sisters and it's just one of those things where everyone wants a family, everyone wants to be a part of something and I think Logic and the Rat Pack is like the perfect family. It's been the perfect family for me uh, it's like the family I've never had and the family I've always wanted. Cool, everyone know this part? Are we whipping on this? No, but I mean like everyone just... <laughs> okay. Camera pushing in through the doors. 
Yeah, yeah right here. Yeah. It'd be sick if you want to coordinate something, just like, you know, squat me. Like, oh, that would be like, ugh. Yeah. Like, everybody lean as far as possible. Like, one way to the side of the ass. To the left. To the left. To the left. Like, and three, two, one, like, ugh. Y'all gonna look disgusting. Ugh. Wait, JT, what if on the L parts, him and I go together, like lean into each other? You want to coordinate that? Look a little cute, man. <laughs> you, you guys are gonna be like down the hall, like all looking at the camera. One time, go for the board, like woo! And the cameras go like wait back and forth between everyone. So everyone just like very like squad you know okay. like how bob raps in the camera in all these yeah. videos but like imagine everyone else working right. too, so yeah like yeah like, it's good. yeah like i want y'all to like sell that shit like sell imagine it. you're on stage just like one time go for the moon like woo like, you know i want y'all to like be feeling right. i'll be dancing with y'all too okay. so it's a great guy yeah bb's gonna snap bro we got the best dp in the game right now That's fine. Oh. It's become much more than music, honestly. Logic goes much beyond the music. It isn't just about the music anymore, whether it be films, whether it be just fan meetups or just super cool events. People have like made families because of this man and his music, and it all started with Under Pressure, where he got his first album, and now The Incredible True Story, and the fact that we're on this spaceship, and kind of a testament to that album, it really is just honoring all of that, I'd say. Yeah. Got him on my dick. That's it. Oh, okay. So, I feel like McJagger was 76. Huh. Got him on my dick. So, you're just gonna pass that bitch. Yeah, like, let's get loose with you. Okay. I got him all on my dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Two days to memorize a song? That's insane. I, I, we were staying up last night in the hotel room, just listening to the song on repeat, just trying to get these lyrics right. Basically, my imagination with this is like, Y'all like vibe in like a freestyle battle or something because you, you pass the flow to him so like yeah. <laughs> exactly what you did just like throw it like throw it and it's gonna whip and yeah. You guys snap. So we've done some of wrapping around the machine with Logic, which is really neat. Uh, being in the spaceship, uh, getting hit by an asteroid. <laughs> um, I did a little bit with the scientists, which is really neat. Um, being with them is amazing. Hi, my name is Dr. Mujige Cooper, or Dr. Moo, and I am a planetary protection engineer. I make sure we keep Mars safe from our Earth germs and vice versa when we bring samples back. My name is Anjali Tripathi, and I have the pleasure of thinking about space, both for looking down on Earth and how we can respond to climate change and disasters, and looking out into the distant beyond. Yeah. Okay, so Asteroid just hit the ship, and you guys, it's urgent. You guys are like trying to explain, this is what's going down, and here's what needs to happen right now. So like, it's, you know, a sense of urgency, and yeah, you know, cool. love it. This set is pretty incredible. I feel like I'm in space, you know, minus the no grav the gravity that we have here, right? That's the only giveaway. Everything else seems super solid. <laughs> So one of the great things about living in LA and working in LA is you've got amazing creatives and they come and work with us as scientists. And to me, this is just the perfect example of the places you can go with science because everybody thinks space is cool. And if I can get to be a part of that and making other people excited and I can learn from them, it's just an incredible feeling. I'm so honored and thrilled that Logic decided to bring scientists on his set because he is a voice, he is a conduit to a whole group of people that we are just waiting to recruit into science and engineering. If no one is there to hear the tree drop in the forest, is it really a rap? You know? <laughs> That's a rap! <laughs> Woo! No matter when you get into Logic, I feel like it, he, his music and him as a person attracts a certain kind of fan and it's almost always love at the end of the day. It's just a family and it's crazy to have things be full circle because we've known Logic has done stuff with fans in the past and stuff. And I've seen other artists do things with fans and stuff, but something like this, 
I ain't ever seen it done before.